gross. Sorry if I sound phlegmy and full of cold. It's because I'm phlegmy and full of cold. The day I'm recording this is January the 2nd, 2024. So of course, new year, new me, starting off thinking about things I didn't do last year, things I wanted to do. And one of the main things I wanted to do was collect my body of work in a physical form, whether that be a book or a magazine. I am a huge fan of both books and magazines that collect photography, or that collect anything. And I've had a plan to do something for a long time that initially was thwarted by the pandemic. And then there wasn't really an excuse. I just wasn't doing the project. So end of last year, start of this year, I made plans to start working towards the creative project I had. Now, I'm not going to talk about what that project is yet. I'll bring that up in another video. But for now, I want to talk about the process of starting the third shoot in this project, um, how it didn't really go according to plan. It was help, hopefully that will help me improve for the future and show you some of the images I got. Before we get into it, I know it's very annoying when YouTubers say, please like and subscribe. But the reason is that helps the channel grow. It means that people like you who are interested in this type of thing get to see more of what we do and it means we can make more of it. So please like and subscribe. If you don't already know, my name is BB Manic. I'm a portrait photographer based in London, England. And every week I hope to show you some behind the scenes and results of different shoots I'll be doing throughout this year. And like I said, most of them are going to be different creative portraits. Um, so yeah. If that sounds like your type of thing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, get a notification bell, and yeah, stay in touch. This shoot was gonna be very simple. Studio shoot, which I don't usually do. Uh, plain backdrop, and I had, kind of had an idea that I wanted the model to have something glittery, shiny, and I was gonna maybe use a filter to kind of highlight that, so it looks a bit sparkly and yeah, just eye-catching. Now, if you whether you know my work or not, I, I traditionally shoot using natural light on location. I don't really do studio work. I'm a fan of that aesthetic, but it's not something that I myself do. Um, partly because budgetary reasons and partly because I am not super confident. So I thought now is a better time than ever to challenge myself and to actually do that. So I put the call out and I was met with wide array of responses from some really talented individuals. I chose to work with an influencer and model called Jenna. She's fantastic, I'm gonna leave her details down. And we were collaborating with a really talented makeup artist called Nicole, whose details I'll also leave down. And yeah, we booked a couple of hours, which was probably my first mistake. I didn't realize it, but the makeup itself was gonna take an hour. So photographers, it's a heads up before you book a studio. So going into this, we were already running late because of me. Studio was limited, I couldn't unfortunately extend the time. And when we got there, it turned out the studio had not been prepped as we had asked for. So I was already really stressing out, didn't know what to do, but the team were incredible as well as Jenna and Nicole, Jenna's sister Rhea joined us. Rhea, if you're watching this, thank you very much for being an amazing assistant. And they all worked amazingly calmed me down, got me in a space where I could get the photos I wanted. And I got some shots I was really happy with. I would have loved Portra, but unfortunately I didn't have any and I couldn't get any at short notice. I was able to get some Ultramax. And whilst Ultramax doesn't quite have the latitude that any form of Portra does, it still can really do well in a pinch. So with the studio lights and some of my own personal lights, I was able to get some kind of moody shots. Um, now you'll see in these images that the final images don't match the backdrop from the shoot. I know some people are really purists about shooting on film and they believe whatever the image is straight out of camera, that's what you should present to people. But I believe if you have an image in your head and you need to get that final image out, do whatever you need to. So I am totally not opposed to using Photoshop to get the final image, which is exactly what I did. So I touched up a lot of the background, changed it, and I'm really happy with these images. So I got these shots on Ultramax 400 using my Nikon F80. I also managed to get some shots using my iPhone, which I was actually really impressed with, and the DX01. Now the DX01 is kind of secret weapon. I'm gonna talk about that in the channel definitely more. Looking forward to that. 
Um, but yeah, we got less than an hour in the studio. I was really happy with the team, really happy with what we did. Um, we all have planning to work together again in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, that was it for today. That's wanted to show you these images. Um, going to be doing a lot more. Hopefully going to be uploading every couple of weeks on this channel. So like I said, make sure to like, subscribe, share this with anyone you think might like it. Um, and yeah, if there's anything you think you might want to see from this channel, let me know in the comments and yeah, maybe I'll take on suggestions to the type of stuff I was shooting. I, I didn't shoot nearly as much as I wanted to in 2023. So in 2024, I'm going to be a lot more active. Thanks again. See you soon. Ugh, disgusting.